Last month, I went on vacation to Southern California and had the privilege of checking out some of the pieces in the Desert X art show in the Coachella Valley near Palm Springs. The large-scale dreamy works in this show were scattered about and finding them was almost like a scavenger hunt. I've heard that some of the works are now closed due to vandalism, so I wanted to share my favorites with you here. The first piece we saw was Hollow Earth by Glenn Kano. After texting a phone number listed on the website, we were sent a code to enter a small wooden shack on some undeveloped property at the edge of a golf course. Instructions inside described how to turn on the inverter, so presumably there's a solar panel on the roof. The power lights up a gigantic infinity mirror in the floor of the shack, which was otherwise dark and suffocatingly hot. Standing on the mirror made it feel as though the tunnel went on forever to the other side of the world. The giant LEDs along the inside of the infinity mirror only stayed on for a few seconds at a time, and we wondered if that was intentional or some kind of glitch. Still, I really liked this piece. The next piece we visited was The Circle of Land and Sky by Philip K. Smith III, comprised of a ring of 300 mirrored square posts driven into the sand. Walking around and through it blends up a hashed reflection of the scene behind you and in front of you. It reminded me of a desert version of that mirrored fence at Storm King. The last piece I'll show you is Mirage by Doug Aitken. This is a mirrored fun house atop a housing development construction site in Palm Springs. There was nobody there but a docent with a people counter, which made me wonder why the other pieces weren't staffed as well. The house indeed looks like a mirage, vacillating between completely blending in with its surroundings and amplifying them in impossible ways. The illusion in photos is mind-bending, and in video in person, it's just plain cool. Smokey and I enjoyed finding the best angles around the house to blend the landscape of the hillside, the windmills nearby, and the sky. So those were my three favorite pieces from Desert X. Thanks so much for coming along with me. Do I need to go deeper? Yeah, but you could also try dipping forward, right? Like scooping your body this way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Excellent impression.